Hello and welcome everybody to today's video. This time we are doing part 2 of the redesigning some of my old OCs video. I still have plenty more OCs that need redesigning, so if you guys like this series, please leave a comment down below to let me know. Without further ado, you guys already know the drill, let's get right into it. The first character we are redesigning goes by the name Lydia. She is one of the main three in one of my abandoned comics. This comic had a prologue and three episodes before I dropped it. Reading it back, it was actually a decent idea, but my execution at the time was far from perfect. Lydia is a female knight accompanying the main character, Kate, on her journey back to the kingdom she was born in after a herd of monsters attacked the city she was living in originally. These two will end up as a couple together, you guys. Let's go, lesbians. Kate actually already has a redesign I did for her before this series, as you can see right here. The last person from the big three of this comic is Will Jackson. <laughs> uh, that name is so funny to me. I don't know why I named him that, but I love it. But anyway, there were some really messy love triangles going on in this series, I will not lie. Like, Will likes Kate. Kate likes Lydia, but Lydia actually likes Kate's older sister, you guys. It's a bit messy in here. But she likes her in the way that she'd never let her know. But as she is the queen of the kingdom, Kate's older sister, I mean, uh, Lydia is like a loyal knight. In the end, of course, the sister turns out to be this big evil bad guy, so they defeat her. I honestly don't remember much, but that's kind of the point. And Lydia and Kate do end up together, and Will finds himself a werewolf boyfriend on their travels because he's a bisexual king, your honor. This is basically a journey adventure type comic, or was, I suppose. When all sorts of creatures they encounter on their way, think mermaids, lumias, werewolves, contours, you name it. I forgot to mention, but Kate is also a vampire, by the way. They also all have titles to their names. Kate was... Get this, the last one. Okay, look, I know it's cheesy. I was young, but it was also the name of the series. <laughs> Lydia was the stone-hearted, because she's so calm and collected, seemingly unloving, but she has a huge heart, actually. And Will was the absolute unluckiness. Broken English, but that aside, he really was unlucky. I just thought I gave him that title, but upon rereading the comic, I realized he is, in fact, very unlucky. <laughs> I was not expecting my younger self to actually give him that characterization. He's also a knight, by the way. Him and Lydia are like siblings, since Will's parents took her in at a young age. They actually grew up together. Lydia is the better knight out of the two. Also, could you tell I was trying to go for a butterfly silhouette for her with this redesign? I think it turned out well. She was also actually my favorite of the series, so I don't know if you can tell, but I really, really loved Lydia. Moving on to our next character, I'm sorry the explanation will likely be probably less detailed than the previous one. It's the actually made into a comic versus had five different iterations out of which none came to fruition if. Alex in every iteration is April's best friend. He was originally the main character who sort of carries on after April dies, Shuichi Saihara style. Um, but in later iterations, I preferred it to be the other way around, because I liked April more, she's just better. She was in my previous OC redesign video, if you guys are maybe wondering who I'm talking about. He was more cool and level-headed in early versions, but I decided he should be a pathetic man in later versions, and I stand by that, that is what he should be. I implemented that element into his design by giving him bandages on his face, hands and neck. I also gave a little bandage to his glasses made him have ripped jeans, which seems like a common design phenomena for me recently. Not only that, but also some belts. If you know me and my designs, at this point it's basically like a signature move. Like how you see a professional fighter do their signature move, me putting on like one or two belts, or sometimes way more, is exactly like that for me, but for character design. If there's also dangly bits, that's like the cherry on top. It's easy to recognize me by this, at least. Anyway, he's a pathetic man, April is a bad bitch, and I love her. 
In one of the iterations, she sacrificed herself and then Alex somehow got his shit together after being extremely depressed and then won the whole game. Woohoo, as you do. This is... This comic is so Danganronpa, you could smell it from miles away. Like, obviously it was inspired by that in every iteration and I could not hide it well. One of the versions did diverge a bit, with the focus being more on, like, gambling games. As I have mentioned in my previous video about character designs, I actually learned a lot of the gambling games for this comic specifically. I thought it was, like, a cool and unique idea. Yeah, no. Turns out, way before I even came up with this, there was already an existing manga and movie series, by the way, by the name of Liar Game? I'm sorry. First of all, it was great, I loved it. But why did no one tell me about it? <laughs> The main character sucked, but everything else was cool, though. It's just so funny to me, because not only did I have a similar idea without knowing of this series, but also came up with an eerily similar name. My comic's name was going to be Liar's Race, and like I said, the manga movie series' name is Liar Game. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually in shambles, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, here's Alex. It's not the most unique design known to man, but it's also certainly an upgrade from his previous water-flavored look. Now it's more like flavored water. Next and last one up is Kuro, the missing puzzle to the trio I mentioned once again in the previous video. Kokoro is already good, we redesigned the embodiment of luck Masaru last time, and now we're redesigning Kuro, the embodiment of misfortune. I have already talked about their story, so I will just talk about his design in this one. The choker is an essential part of his design since that's where his little like shocker thingy is. Basically what they use to subdue his powers when it needs to be forced to do that. Uh, so that was kept from the original, this time I made his hair give kind of like Y2K, kind of monster high, if you know what I mean, with the streaks. He is the type of guy to eat instant cup noodles at like 2am, so I wanted to give that vibe with everything, from the way he is looking and standing, to the way his clothes look. Like, they kind of look messy, but also comfy, he is comfy maxing, as they say. Well, it looked comfy until I added more of my signature belts, but you know, how could I not when they look so cool? Do they make sense? Of course not. Who would wear belts like this? He must be stupid or something. However, very fashionable. I like making designs that look cool but aren't very functional. Like I understand and also like practical designs as well, but if you only like those, do you hate joy and whimsy? Like, come on now, come, hey, come on now, come on. Dysfunctional designs are like the best thing in the world, come on! Sometimes you just gotta go for the vibes, you know? That's what being a character designer is about for me, at least. I am probably the best at making these types of character designs, for this reason. In a way, I think he turned out really well, but what do you guys think? And this is all three characters we redesigned today. All together, they have like a blue to red gradient, which is kind of fun, movie theater vibes, okay? If you guys enjoyed seeing this type of character design video, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to redesign more of my old OCs and talk your ear off about them once again. If you want to see art from me that doesn't make it into videos, you can check out my Instagram and Twitter at eris underscore vt. And if you'd like to read my webcomics, you can also find me on Webtoon by searching eris.png but all the links will be in the description down below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, bye bye!